Hey guys, I'm Mongol Lupson and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about how to add the lib input gesture that is enabling the touchpad gesture on your window manager. So enabling the touchpad gesture on desktop environments is quite easy but enabling the touchpad gesture on window manager is really annoying. And that is also an easy one. So if you want these kinds of gesture or make some use of your touchpad on your window manager then follow this video. So let's install some packages. Let me just open up the terminal and let's make it a little bit full screen. And if you are an Arch user, then this could be a really easy. You can just easily grab it from the AUR. And if you are not the Arch user, then you have to build it from the source. Just to be sure that you have successfully installed the package, lib input gesture and the gesture. So whereas the gesture is the minimal GUI utility for controlling out the gesture of the lib input. So let me show you. So let's install the package uh, paru ss lib input gestures. So when you search for the package, as you can see that we have the package called lib input gesture. So if you are not the Rs user, then you have to build it from the source and uh, you have to install the extra dependencies as well. So I'm going to do the paru ss lib input gestures. And followed by the guest source so we have to install these two packages on your system and then we can begin to setting up the touchpad guest store on your window manager so after installing these two packages we have to add our user to the input group so it's a really easy one just type on your terminal sudo g pass wd hyphen a followed by the dollar of user so that will be the current user if you want to specify the any other user just keep the username here and followed by the group and that will be the input and i have already added the user to the input group just make sure that you have log out and login back when you added the user to the input group after logging back into the system just open up your terminal and do the lib input gesture setup iphone iphone help and you can see out that we can auto start and status we can also check the status or we can also run it as a service or we can also restart start or stop the service so we have to do the leave gesture setup start so if you are using the any kinds of window manager such as bsp wm exponent or the open box you have to add this command to your auto startup file so let me just copy this and let me show you how we can do that nbeam.config slash openbox slash auto start so as you can see on the 2 belt line i have add this auto startup file so if you are using the bspwm window manager then we have to add this to the bspwm rc file uh, so here we can also see that i have added this on my bspwm also so if you are using the any other window manager like dwm then just add this to the auto startup file or you can also start this from the x init also and let me close from here and let's open up the gesture application and here as you can see that i have the four gesture already running on my system so that is the three finger swipe left and three finger swipe right and when i just swipe down it opens up my terminal and when i just swipe up it opens up my file manager that is really easy for adding out the gesture and let me show you how i just did that and for the changing out the workspace i have used the x2 toolset desktop hyphen hyphen relative one so that is just for changing out the workspace to the next and you can also see out the another command for changing out the previous workspace that is hyphen hyphen minus one the command is the same and if you want some idea then you can just pause the video and check out this and let me just cancel this and for adding out the gesture on this system you can just simply press on the plus button and you can just begin to add the gesture from here like you can also use the pinch so just do the settings as per your required now let's just close this and that was it this is how you can easily enable the touchpad gestures on your window manager so this must for today